When we talk about why we're using the metric system in science, the biggest thing is we've got to talk about it because scientists use it. When we look at data from other scientists, that's what they're using to record their data. We've got to be able to communicate with them. It's the scientist language. Okay, so we're going to talk and review length today, and you're going to get some practice in. Okay, so it should be a good review for you as we look at that learning target. Now, the biggest thing, and I'll share you a story. So how many of you all, anybody traveled outside of the country? A couple of you? Okay, anybody hope to travel outside of the country one day in your life, maybe? Okay, all right, so... Story for me, when we're talking about my experience, I went to Germany, I was mm, about 20. And I went to Germany, flew across seas. It was the first time I'd ever been away from my parents that long. It's the first time that I had ever left the country. Okay, And we went to Germany, and this gentleman picked us up to take us. We had friends that were studying in Germany. And he took us. He was taking us there, and he took us on the Autobahn in Germany. Have you ever heard of the Autobahn? How many of you heard of it? Okay, somebody tell me what the Autobahn is, or tell the rest of us that don't know. What's the Autobahn? Kylie, do you know? It's a highway, and what's so unique about the Autobahn and the highway? Cindy? You can drive as fast as you want to, a.k.a. there's no speed limit. Okay, so... I get on the Autobahn. I'm not driving, thank goodness. Okay? And I'm a little nervous anyways because I'm getting into a car with a man that doesn't speak English and I don't speak German. Okay? I am with my friends, thank goodness. But I get in and we're driving along and I can tell that he's going really fast. Okay? And I get, start to get a little uncomfortable because he's weaving in and out of cars and some of you would think that was really cool. Okay? It's going really fast. And I look at this speedometer and I see 200. Okay, immediately, I freak out. 200. So what's going through my head? 200 miles per hour. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm gonna die. All right, so I'm hearing, it's a different measurement. Metric system, they don't use miles. What do they use? Kilometers. Okay, now, 200 kilometers per hour, so fast. Okay, but it's not quite as fast as 200 miles per hour. So it took me just that one incident to get real familiar with the metric system and to remind myself that they use a the metric system for everything. Okay, so when you see signs on the street, they don't use miles away. It's kilometers away. Okay, so everything is metric. I'm going to make you do the math in just a second, Alex. You need the challenge today. Okay? You ready for the challenge? Yes, you can handle it. We'll figure it out in just a second, okay? All right. So, length. Let's look at number one on your notes. And so, my next question to you, and as you look at number one, and we're going to do one and two together on your notes, it says, which is longer? So, the question is, one mile or one kilometer? Show of hands, how many of you think one mile? Eight miles. Actually, let's do this. If you think one mile... Is larger, put a thumbs up. If you think one kilometer is larger, put a thumbs down. Okay. So I'm seeing thumbs up. I'm seeing some thumbs down. Okay. One mile is actually bigger. So go ahead and circle one mile on your number one. And then if you look at number two, and we're going to go back and forth between number one and number two, you see that statement. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. Okay, so you're going to fill in 1.6 kilometers for number two. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. All right, so Alex, you asked how fast that was. There's the math you need. I'm going to give you a challenge. And anybody else that wants the math challenge, there's what you need. Okay? By the end of the class, if you haven't figured it out, we'll do the math together if we have time. Okay? So there's your math challenge. All right. To figure out 200 miles per hour, I want to know, or 200 kilometers per hour, I'm sorry. I want to know how many miles per hour that is. 
Okay. All right, next one. Which is longer, one yard or one meter? Thumbs up if you think one yard is bigger. Thumbs down if you think one meter is bigger. I see some of you going like this because you're looking at your friends. Okay. All right. One meter is bigger. And I'm going to show you, and you can see in the picture up there, one meter, and fill in on number two, one yard equals 0.9444 meters. And so if I show you, and i got to find my meters, or my yardstick. Okay? So I've got a yardstick. I've got a meter stick. See the difference? They're close. And to put it in terms that you're comfortable with, when we talk about inches, okay, the meter stick is about three and a half inches bigger than the yardstick. Okay? Alex, did you figure it out? What'd you? 125 miles per hour. That sounds about right. I'll double check your math here. Okay? But that does sound about right. All right. C, which is longer, an inch or a centimeter? Thumbs up if you think an inch is longer. Thumbs down if you think a centimeter is longer. Okay. All right, good. I see a lot of thumbs up. One inch is bigger. Okay, and when we're talking about one inch, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So as you look at your notes, you should have number one and number two complete. You with me? Everybody with me? Okay, good. Thank you. All right, somebody read for me number three on your notes. Read for me number three. Kenzie, go ahead. What do you think? Meter. So the basic unit of length is meter. All right, and it's represented by a lowercase m. So I've got it up on the board there for you to complete number three. Now, sometimes when you measure things, you don't always measure thing, things in meters, right? I'll jump ahead or I'll give you a preview. If I told you to measure your pencil... What unit are you going to use, Caitlin? Centimeters. Centimeters, okay? But that base unit is meters. That's what you're familiar with, okay? All right, so looking at number four in your notes, one kilometer equals how many meters? Elise? A thousand, A thousand meters, good. What's the next one there? One meter? All right, so one meter equals 100 <coughs> centimeters. And then one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. So when we look at that meter stick and I grab the meter stick again, okay, when you talk about what a kilometer is, think of 1,000 of these. Okay, so those of you that run 5Ks like Miss Wilson, okay, how many of these is that 5K? 5,000, okay? So on Saturday, I ran 5,000 of these lengths. Okay, all right, one meter. So in that meter, there's 100 centimeters. And in this meter, there's 1,000 millimeters. Okay. All right. So let's look at, what is it, number five in your notes? Am I ahead of the game or are we at number five? All right. So 5A, the question is, which is bigger, one meter or 105 centimeters? One meter or 105 centimeters? Addie, what do you think? 105 centimeters, she says. Can I get a thumbs up if you agree with Addie? 
Okay. I see several thumbs up. I see several of you that might be unsure. Addie, can you explain why you know that 105 centimeters is bigger? All right, so one meter equals 100 centimeters. So above that one meter, I just want you to make a note. 100 centimeters. Okay, so one meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters. So then when you compare it, you got 100 centimeters or 105 centimeters. And which one's bigger than Terry? 100 or 105? 105. 105. Okay. So go ahead, and if you have it circled, 105, go ahead and circle it. All right, for B, 4 kilometers or 4,400 meters, what do you think is bigger? Nadia, what do you think? 4 kilometers. 4 kilometers? What do you know about 4 kilometers? How many meters is 4 kilometers? All right, let's look about, above your note at number four. One kilometer equals how many meters? It equals 1,000. So four kilometers would equal? 4,000. 4,000. All right, so which is bigger then? 4,000 or 4,400? 4,000. 4,400 is bigger. So I made a note underneath four kilometers. It's the same as 4,000 meters. You do the same thing. Okay? All right. And Nadia just told us that 4,400 meters is bigger. So go ahead and circle. 4,400. All right. For C, 12 centimeters or 102 millimeters. Which one's bigger? 12 centimeters or 102 millimeters. I want you, okay, I see some hands. Okay, I want you to look at your shoulder, buddy, and I want you to tell them which one you think is bigger and explain it to them. Take 30 seconds. All right, Lauren, look at Rusty. Rusty, look at Lauren real quick. Alex, what do you think since you don't have a shoulder, buddy? Why? All right, what'd you decide? Who wants to share what you decided? Which one's bigger, 12 centimeters or 102, what is it, millimeters? All right, Chris, which, what did you decide? 102 millimeters. What do you know about 102 millimeters? It's not a meter. It's not a meter. Okay. It's not a centimeter. Oh. 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 What's a millimeter? Maybe we need to define that first. We yeah. haven't defined that. One centimeter equals how many millimeters, Kenzie? Ten. ten. All right, so that might change some things. One centimeter equals ten millimeters. So if you have twelve centimeters up here like we do, how many millimeters is that? Okay. What is it, Joe? 120, so we're going to change this, and we're, I want you to write just above it. What, it's the same thing as 120 millimeters. Okay. All right, so Chris, now having that base knowledge, which is bigger, 100 and, uh, 12 centimeters or 102 millimeters? Good. 12 centimeters is bigger. Okay. All right, let's do the last one. Which one's larger? 1,200 millimeters or one meter? Colton? Why do you know that? Because in one meter, there are 1,000 millimeters. Good, so I'm going to write 1,000 millimeters underneath just so I know. Okay, so 1,000 millimeters goes underneath. So Colton told us 1,200 is bigger than 1,000 essentially. So go ahead and circle that 1,200. Okay? All right. We're going to jump on your notes as you're following along. We're going to go from number six that we just 
Well, we didn't do number six, did we? Okay. Let's answer number six. Kenzie, since you just did already answer it, can you read it for us one more time? Ten is the answer. So for number six, go ahead and fill in your answer. Is number ten or the number ten? All right, and we're going to jump over seven. We're going to come back to it. Okay, and so let's look at eight. Eight, what's the question? What's the question for number eight? Rusty, read the question for number eight. Use the ruler. Right here. Oh, sorry. What tool should you use to measure length? All right, what tools? You know? If I tell you to measure the length of something, you're going to use one of two things. A ruler. A ruler. There's one. All right, so we, we might use a ruler. All right, so Rusty gave me one. What's the other, the other tool that you're going to use, Sydney? A meter stick. A meter stick. Thank you for not saying yard stick. Okay, we are talking meters here and metrics. So you're either going to use a ruler or a meter stick for number eight. All right, let's look at A, B, C, and D. What's appropriate? So if I hand Cade a pencil and I say find the length, what tool are you going to use, Cade? A ruler. A ruler. Oh, I wrote Cade. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> We're going to use Cade to measure a pencil. All right. You got to have a sense of humor at least. All right, ruler. Okay. B, your height. If I tell you to measure your height, what tool are you going to want to use? What are you going to want to use? What are you going to want to use, Connor? Meter stick. Okay. Why not yard? Because we are not using the English system. We're going to use the metric system. All right. Length of your car. What tool are you going to want to use? Savannah? A meter stick, safety pin, what are you going to want to use, Rusty? Ruler. A ruler. All right. It's ready to jump back up to number seven and finish out our notes for length. Okay. I want you to take, let's take mm, two minutes, number seven, and I want you to work on number seven. You don't need an actual ruler. Okay, you don't need an actual ruler. I'm going to put it up on the board so you can see it. Use that as your ruler. All right, there it is. Okay, so using your ruler there. Work with your shoulder, buddy, if you need help. Two minutes, go. Number seven, yeah. You want to put words without words? For C, yes, you're estimating. But for A, I want exact centimeters. So you're measuring that line. And then I want to know the length of this line right here. So you're going to tell me what it is in centimeters and millimeters. Um, you'll need to know the kangaroos hopping down, but for like, there's not really a hectometer. That makes sense. All right. I see some good conversations. All right. 
So let's look at the length of that line in the picture. What's the length of the line in centimeters? Jacob? 2.8. Jacob, where'd you get the, two, the point 0.8? All right, for those of you that didn't hear Jacob, he said from the little dashes that are after the two. What are those little dashes called? What are those little dashes called, Chris? Uh, millimeters. Millimeters. Okay, so that's eight millimeters past the two. So your answer for A should be 2.8 centimeters. All right, how many millimeters is that then? Okay, how many total millimeters is that line? Ty? Not 29, you're close. If it's 2.8, then it's what? 28, there you go. Now, how many of you counted out all the little dashes? Some of you do that? I saw a couple of you doing it. Okay, all you have to do is multiply the number of centimeters by the number what? Ten. Ten, or move that decimal one place, one place over. All right, if we're rounding to the nearest centimeter, what is it? Caitlin? Three. Three. Okay, so when we round it. All right, so what we're going to do now that you have worked on that, we're going to start with a little bit of practice. So now you may grab the ruler out of the table. <laughs>